James 1 uh, verse 21 says, Therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. Um, just want us to notice that, that phrase, lay aside. Now, uh, when we look at the Greek, it gives us that image where someone not only just lays aside or puts down, but also pushes away. So it, it carries that picture of something that is put down and pushed away. For example, if you're at a, at a big buffet and if you had a, one or two helpings of a great dish and, and you put your spoon again and serving spoon and you've taken one more helping, but you put it back and you push it away. Now that's the picture. Right. You lay aside and uh, you also push it away. Uh, in the New Testament times, this word was frequently used to describe someone who comes after a hard day's work of labor and uh, maybe their clothes are sweaty and dirty. So it describes how the person just takes off all that, all dirty clothes and just puts it away for wash. So that's the picture that we have. So here, um, we see this verse where James writes and he says, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness. So he's saying, whatever is filthy, whatever is wicked, just lay it aside. Put it down and push it away beyond your reach. Just put it down and push it away. So, uh, which means that it's like removing those dirty, stinking, filthy garments and, and pushing it away beyond our reach. Now, if, if you see one thing, you know, these, these clothes which are dirty, which are sweaty, they don't just fall off automatically. You know, there is effort, there is um, intention, a conscious choice uh, made on the person, on, on um, the person has to make a choice to remove, to make sure that these things come off. So that is something for us to learn, that we need to deliberately and intentionally act and put things away. So we acknowledge first what is wrong and then when, when something the Bible calls as filth or if it's wicked, we also call it the same thing. We, we don't try to justify, we don't try to argue and reason and say, no, no, uh, this needs to remain but the other thing needs to go. No, when the Bible says something is, uh, it's, it's filthiness and it's wickedness, you know, you know, and then we label it as filthiness and wickedness as well. And then we take that appropriate action without reasoning, without justifying. We put it away and we push it away from our lives. So when we do that, uh, the Bible talks about how we can be people of integrity, how we can be, uh, we can be people who actually imitate Christ. And we are called to this. We are called to follow Him. We are called to be holy just as He is holy. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you called us, Lord, to put away wickedness and filthiness and everything. God, not just put away, but push it away beyond our reach so that we don't have to ever pick it up again. And Father, we pray that you'd give us that strength. Lord, we pray that you'd give us that desire to do that, Lord. Give us a desire to please you. Give us the desire to, to delight your heart, Lord. And I just pray that you would cause us to walk in holiness, even as you are holy. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.